Uh, absolutely amazing. The three Brownlow medalists in the side and six players that had played with Victoria in that, in that south side. We won the first two night premierships. I played in 56-57, played in both of those, but but we were always about fifth or sixth in, in the seniors. We'd, we'd beat some of the good sides and then lose to someone you shouldn't lose to, you know, so... Yeah, and, and you'd get, like, at the south ground in those days and those big games, you'd still get 40,000 people. Bloody, the ground was absolutely packed. Ron Clegg won his Brownlow in 49. That was before my time. I was in Tassie when he won that. Um, and then um, Freddie Goldsmith won his in 55, and we were all there for that. In 1956 was the Olympic Games in Melbourne and the start of television for footy. So that was really big, and we were all trying to get tickets for the games. And I was there when Betty Cuthbert won. And then uh, when, when the television started, they'd have you in of a Saturday night and be yeah. part, of a, uh, part of a panel to interview and all that sort of thing. And all the studios were only just all on the telly. They looked great, but in, in between, they were all just being built and <laughs> everything else it looked a real mess. <laughs> oh, and and, and the, on the broadcast uh, games, uh, Jack Dyer and Louis Richards did those. And they'd come in and talk to you before the game, and they'd have everyone in fits. So a funny pair, funny pair of buggers they were. They, everyone like anyway. They, anyway, they were wandering around the room there one day down at Geelong, and and one of them said, "Oh, who's that young guy over there?" And, and Louis said, "Oh, that's young Hogan. Let's go and talk to him." So, <laughs> uh, would people pick you out in the streets and? Oh like yeah, that? on the trams and things like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, you'd hear him, hear him talking to the trams. Hey, that's Hogan down there. 